Let's see if we can combine health and a tasty snack in one. And let's start with dates. In this case, non-GMO, fresh dates that have tremendous health benefit and contribution as well as contributions to our taste buds. And so here we have these dates that, and I use two, right? You can you can do as many as, you know, four, you know, six dates, right? Um, but in this particular example, I'm gonna, just going to have two. You know, I like to do two at a time in most cases. And so the dates we find have... 277 calories on average, and 75 grams of carbs, and 7 grams of fiber. And what you'll find is that that fiber is going to help with digestion. Digestion is key. You not only want to enjoy a snack, but you want to be able to digest it. And to improve digestibility, in this case, I want to cut the date into smaller pieces that will flow through the system a lot better. And then when we combine these sliced dates into another process that I'm going to show later, it's going to ramp up digestibility even more, as well as the benefits that we can get from the dates. Speaking of the benefits, some of those include 15% of your daily value of potassium, 13% of your daily value of magnesium, and 40% of your daily value of copper. That is huge. You know, sesame seeds, for example, are a good source of copper. But to find this in dates is absolutely fantastic. You also get 13% of your daily value in manganese and 5% of your daily value of iron and 15% in B6. That B6 is going to be important. So you can not only improve your digestive health, health with dates but they can also help keep your intestinal system clean. And then there was a study of 21 people who consumed seven dates per day for 21 days, and they had huge improvements in how their body was able to clean, stay clean. And so I'm going to use coconut water to soak the dates. And coconut water, you can use spring water, but I wanted to use a water that also added a flavor profile but also a health aspect to it as well. And, you know, dates are fruits, but they're dried fruits. And that dried nature is what increases the um, calorie count in the dates. So, you know, saturating them in liquid won't necessarily change that, but it will change the digestibility of the dates, right? So that's one thing I'm going to recommend in a snack like this, right? You can eat dates straight up. Right, and I showed that in an earlier video. An absolutely wonderful experience that was. But in this case, I find that soaking the dates so that they stretch out a little bit more and that the body can actually process them a little easier is going to be beneficial. And here we are with this dark uh, cacao powder, right? And you know, uh, cacao powder is not just adding chocolate, and of course, this is a healthier. Of uh, use of chocolate than you're going to find in a chocolate bar, right? Uh, this is healthy use of chocolate because coca powder has fiber as well, and it also has uh, flavonoids and uh, uh, polyphenols that help with the body and help with the systems in a body. But cacao also goes back thousands of years to uh, the cultures of the Amazon, the Caribbean, the Puerto Rico, Mexico, Brazil, Chile, and a variety of areas, including uh, parts of Africa, such as Ghana, right? And so, and I'm also using cinnamon from Tanzania. And so the cinnamon is going to add a little bit of flavor, but also um, a bit of an immune boosting benefit. Then we're going to throw in pistachios. Did you know that 49 pistachios constitutes a serving, but a single pistachio, right, has an abundant amount of, um, of nutrients, right? And so, and these are shelled, and I don't recommend those. I mean, you know, I just thought I'd try some shelled ones here, but I like the ones that are uh, already, uh, uh, you know, removed, have the shells removed. But 
The pistachios um, actually have a plant-based protein, six grams of it, and it also has um, essential amino acids, and they also have brain-improving nutrients and nutrifactors. And they, it is said that pistachios have almost every essential nutrient except for vitamin C. They got omega-3 fatty acids, and they have um, several types of antioxidants, and they are also a source of good, a source of good carbohydrates, fiber, and vitamin A. And so, um, but here's what I really like. Um, they're also prebiotic, so they boost your gut, your good bacteria in your gut. I love this one ingredient, uh, almond butter, as I showed in a previous video. Uh, all it has is just almond, right? And so it's um, it, it's perfect um, for, for the most part. I mean, you know, you just got to know how to stir it right when you open it. But almond butter is, um, well, almonds in general, what they are going to do is provide an immense amount of vitamin E. It's like, ask yourself, where do you get your vitamin E from? Well, almonds have that vitamin E. And the great thing about them is that they typically have um, anywhere from two to four grams of fiber, six grams of protein. Um, they have good fats, 48% of your daily value in vitamin E, and 27% in manganese, and 18% in magnesium. Decent amount of copper, vitamin B2, phosphorus, so on and so forth. So here's the thing, all this healthy snack that's being built here, it, it is loaded with vitamins and minerals and trace elements and antioxidants and polyphenols and all kinds of beneficial elements. And did you know that uh, almonds and almond butter, especially in the form of almond butter, almond butter can, can lower insulin resistance. So by using this almond butter uh, strategically in this in this uh, snack uh, composition, you're actually controlling all the sugars that are involved in this entire mix. So your taste buds can access the sugars, and because they are healthy sugars in the right geometry, because when I look at different types of sugars, sucralose, glucose, fructose, you name it, it's the geometry that makes a huge difference. The geometry of the molecules, right? And so by building the snack, we are influencing not only the overall geometry of the nutrients that are going into the system, right? But we are doing so in a way that is far more digestion friendly. And by being digestion friendly, we can extract more benefit from this uh, combination, such as the phytic, you know, um, the phytic acids and the iron, the zinc, and the calcium, right? And so, and, and this is the crackers I was talking about in the previous video, Wasa, W-A-S-A. This is the sourdough style, non-GMO, absolutely perfect. We'll just ignore the fact there's a picture of ham on the front, right? Hey, at least it didn't come with the ham. But I like the way this is packaged, and I like um, the lineup of ingredients. Uh, Wasa sells different types of crackers. This is the only uh, formulation here that I found acceptable at the time I was looking for it, right? And so um, I said, okay, this is kind of decent. And um, so I went with this one, and I like the style of this cracker. I mean, it's, it has the right length and body to it. And so you'll see that in a moment as I, after I unpack this, right? And so, you know, looking at these uh, these nutrients again, right? It's like, okay, so you're combining pistachios, uh, you're combining that with cocoa powder, uh, coconut water, combining that with dates and almond butter, and then you're going to mix that with these crackers. I I use the crackers as a carrier. Is what they are. The but what's great about these crackers because they're much more uh, naturally produced, right? Not, not highly processed crackers. 
that they're also going to be a ally, right, in the, uh, the, the process of digestion. And so, but they're simply used in this process to help carry the elements into the body, right? And do so in a way that is tasty and that is nutritious. And so, um, and so this is how I actually uh, try to pack them up. But when we go back and we and look at that texture, I mean, it's absolutely awesome. But when we go back and we look at uh, cocoa powder, for example, right? Cocoa powder has been shown to um, improve nitric oxide levels, right? And that's important because that's part of the mechanism of your heart flow, right? Nitric oxide. And so if you're looking at cocoa powder in particular, right, as one of the main elements here, um, it has anywhere from 30 to 1,000 milligrams of flavanols, right? And it is, it is actually uh, considered to be um, one of the best ingredients for, um, you know, lowering, you know, uh, heart risks, right? You just got to be careful how you say that. Um, but how, how you, uh, it, it's helpful in lowering uh, heart risks, right? And, you know, the, the thing is, is that, you know, the polyphenols, they're going to improve blood flow. And that's going, to, that's going to help your brain and your brain function and your ability to think and your ability to uh, concentrate, right? It's also going to help you in building neurons. So uh, that's absolutely fantastic, right? And so the, the thing is, is that, um, and let me say this very carefully, is that when you're talking about some of these ingredients and, and their combinations and what they can contribute to the body, yes, they do help with the gut. They do help with digestion. But when we talk about things like uh, Alzheimer's and we talk about, you know, uh, preventative health, um, these ingredients, they definitely help with that. And it's just a question of how do you bring them into your system? And so... Good snacks like this and good combinations like this, they're one way to do that because they hit on multiple factors from digestion to nutrition to overall well-being. And so these are this is one of the snacks that I've, I thought I came up with, but I found out that this is a, actually a very common snack that people make all the time. So um, so I guess it's just it's just common sense to put these things together. And so. Um, this is the journey I've been on with this, and um, I've hoped you enjoyed this and have the opportunity to make something similar to this or even add your own spin to it, maybe some coconut milk or something, right? Um, but yes, um, drop any comments if you have any questions, and um, I will see you on the other side. Thank you.